here you are, and how lucky you're the stars. But it just might not end so well for you. Could you be that mystery crew? You know I'll see my plans through. What I'm saying is no talent show for you. I don't know why they even put it on that day. Oh no, what I say. Come now, Skulls, that's your cue. Show these kids what you can do. Come on, kids, now just go home. What are you doing here alone? I am going to call your parents on the phone. That's right. Don't you think they'll get a fright when they hear you're out at night and not talk into your bed tight? closed on this musical. Coach, Coach Hayes. Hayes? What? But where's Miss Hilkin? Right here. She was just scared. Not me. Whenever I thought the Phantom was around, I ran to protect my most precious possession. A golden square. I won for the performing I used to do. I predict someday Anna will have one too. But why did the coach do it? Simple. For the love of the game. He knew he needed a full team to have a chance at winning this weekend's game. So like he sabotaged the show. Exactly. Then the coach hooked himself up to the wiring in the theater, making it look like he could fly. And I would have gotten away with it if it weren't for you meddling kids. Well, it sounds like his next play will be a gripping courtroom drama. And the school is finally scarce of scares. Scooby dooby doo.
Let's see if this mechanical menace has a master. Tim, Tim Toiler? Toiler? That's right. Tim the Toy Man Toiler. Snappy nickname. It's actually quite simple, Mr. Smithers. Once the new amusement park opened, all the kids were too busy with the new rides and arcade machines. And Mr. Toiler just plain got jealous. <gasps> Nobody wanted to play with his toys anymore. <sighs> like I know where I'd be, because you can't buy Dagwood dogs at a toy stand. So he sent out terrifying toys to scare the locals away from the amusement park. And he would have gotten away with it too, if it weren't for you kids. Yeah, thanks. We can't take all the credit, sir. We had a little help along the way. Yeah, well, who better to help catch an evil toy maker than his former apprentice? Ooh! Now that things are safe, I'll be making some new toys. Great! We'll be back here to check them out! <laughs> Yikes! Phew! Right now, we'll be checking those out! Scooby Dooby Doo! Just the person to handle these two. So, Captain, we're handing them over to you. I'll be happy to see that justice is served. We haven't used the brig in years, except to pickle Harry. They almost had us fooled, until I saw Seth pick up those diver flippers. All those shiny pearls. He was just about to move them, ready for the next load to come in. They teamed up to recover Willie's sunken boat. That's how they found Pearl Reef. Then they scared everyone away, and the pearls were theirs. And we would have gotten away with it if it weren't for that little mermaid and her gang. Mermaid? <sighs> yeah, I won't forget this, Bluebeard. Ah, hush, you fool. You kids are welcome in Rocky Bay whenever you please. Scooby. Dooby. Doo.
us to all the trouble. Like you don't have to tell me twice, or even once. That witch didn't have a sense of humor, but she sure did bring down the house. <laughs> <laughs> you did it, kids! I may not have a castle, but a curse I can certainly do without. I can't thank you enough. We're just happy to help you, Baron Hood. It was a tricky mystery to figure out. Yeah. Who would have thought the castle had a secret gold mine underneath it? And your sister would want you gone so she could have the gold all for herself. Yeah, how did your sister do that stuff with the lightning and the magic and the getting bigger? I beg your pardon, but what sister? I don't have a sister. Yes, you do. Lady Zarni. She lives in the castle with you. Nobody lives in Keystone Castle but me and the servants. And I am an only child. But we saw Costington talk to her. Actually, Freddy, all you saw was Lady Azarni talk to Costington. I guess that's a mystery that will have to remain unsolved. Fine with me. Me too. <coughs> Excuse me, sirs and madams. The food festival, <coughs> pig out party, is served. Dooby-dooby! <coughs> Food! <laughs>